And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aeral Abyss. This is going to be our next meme tier deck. This one's going to be a lot of fun. This is some cards that I really enjoy playing. But let's look at what we got. We got some Freljord Noxus. All right, cool region combination here where we're kind of curving out. We got some really good threes with Avaros and Trapper, Riven, and uh, Conley Tavern Keeper keeping us alive. Uh, we got a new card, Three Sisters. This is a, a interesting one that you have the uh, choice to be able to either get Entomb, Fury of the North, or Flash Freeze. So good versatile spell there. Let's see. Then we're also Reforging, though, because we are a Riven deck, right? So we have Rune Weaver and Blade Squire. We're, we are Reforging. And the, another reason to be Reforging and getting those Blade Fragments is Errol the Tracker. Round end, if you cast a spell on me this round, I strike the weakest enemy. So we want to be able to have plenty of spells for us to target Errol with, and that's what our um, different Blade Fragments are going to be able to do. Um, but then <clears throat> Errol only has uh, two power to start with. So if it's striking the weakest enemy, sometimes the, the weakest enemy is a little bit bigger than that. So what if we give Errol a lot more power? <laughs> we can make Errol 10 power with the help of Battle Fury, grant an ally plus eight plus four. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Um, but besides that, we're also going to be playing Howling Abyss, a card that I really enjoy playing. We do have the Prismatic Howling Abyss, so every uh, random level two champion that we create will be uh, prismatic as well. So that'll be a whole bunch of fun. We even have two Fielder Rush at the top end. Now, you can see that we only have Riven and, and one copy of Darius in our deck for the two random champions. Um, so that's, you know, if we draw Darius, then our Fielder Rushes will only get Riven, right? So you're like, man, that's not so good. But remember, Fielder Rush does mean champions from your hand and deck, so your hand as well. So this Howling Abyss creates the random level two champions in our hand, Right, so we can we can create the, the champions, put them in our hand, and then boom, feel the rush from our hand into play, and there they are ten tens. That could be cool. All right, but anyway, let's get to it. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, we got a, a lot going on here, and uh, we're gonna play some some cool games. So here we go, Errol Abyss, Lissandra Trundle. So we're just playing in normal because we're it's meme tier day. We're playing these crazy decks, but as we talked about. With our last one, just because we're in normal doesn't mean yeah, like we, you still play against the tier one decks in normal. So we're going to get rid of the Tavern Keepers. We'll keep the other two. Yes, Howling Abyss. We play ranked the other six days of the week. Monday is the one day of the week that we're not, that we're not playing ranked because we're playing these uh, pretty crazy decks here on, on Mondays. But every other day of the week we play ranked. All right, let's lead with let's lead with a trapper. No, there is no hidden MMR for normal in this game. Nope, you just get randomly paired against anybody else in normal. All right, so we could have attacked for three, but then that would have let them play something post combat, especially like a Catalyst of Aeons or anything like that. So I'm just going. I just decided just to pass, not let them do anything afterwards. And waste all that mana. So right now that only costs me one mana to play. So you definitely see them playing Trundle. Like they're probably play like they have the two five drops that are great, but So they play Trundle, I can go Troll Champ plus Culling Strike, which is why I didn't want to play just Riven. Well, now I play Riven. Because if I did play Riven before, I couldn't Troll Chain and Culling Strike together. Yeah, Susano. So yeah, so so I do... We do lots of rank. We just take like one day a week just to kind of chill in, in normal. But whenever we play... So we play five games with each one of these decks. If we we're ever 4-0 and o with one of the decks, um, so then it's doing really well in normal, then we take... Then we go to ranked for the fifth game. King of 
I can go Troll Chant Calling Strike. I can get this Howling Abyss in play. There's still much to answer for. We'll get the Howling Abyss in play. So this is the turn. They you know, this could be just the combo deck that they could play all for... Or I guess they... No, they have to have... To get the Watcher, they have to play Lissandra. So it's probably not the Watcher this turn. Okay. So there is Lissandra. Yeah, this is this is difficult. We're gonna have some decisions here. I think my plan is. How big is this thing gonna be? Plus six. That's a lot. Because I can use the plus two with the, the fragment. I was thinking that I was going to have to use the troll champ, but I can use the plus two for the fragment. And that will kill the spectral matron. I forgot about the plus two. things with overwhelm i mean i can simply attack and whenever they don't block i battle fury brothers bond but like if they have vengeance i kind of lose if i do that Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Sunlight blinds. i guess they have atrocity i lose i should have just killed this trundle i should have troll chanted cooling strike this trundle a long time you know like whenever they played it plus six that's where i really that's where I messed this game up. I shouldn't have played the arrow and stuff. I, I need to kill the, that trundle. Yeah. Well. Nothing like the great outdoors. never know what hit him. Azir. Alright, so I can make Teemo 12. Oh, I need one more mana for Battle Fury, Wild Claw, and give it, you know, I gotta give it Overwhelm. Hmm. Cost 14 mana to do all that together. I can't figure out any way to stay alive. Yeah, because we, I mean, we need Overwhelm. For the Wild Claw. The Vandal Scout tries harder every time. I watch her as difficult to stop. I think I like the sand. Yeah, I think I like the sand. Yes, I know we had the overwhelmed blade fragment for Wild Claw, but that costs like, it costs 14 mana to do, to play the three cards, and I, you, you can only have 13 mana at one time. So I couldn't play that combo with 14 mana. Why 
You know, because like Battle Fury is eight, Wild Claws is five, and then Overwhelm was the extra one. Like, you know, it's too much mana. This is something I do have on my list of like decks that like you know a couple people really want to see like Jarvan, Shivana, Dragon Chow actually. So I actually have uh, on my like list of like decks to build and play at some point. This is this is one. I just don't know if they're gonna have like Break them. Okay, so that thing's gonna be a five five. I got, I would like to troll chant. But they could have like the you know the plus two plus two. Just keep that from single combat killing my Riven right now. Doesn't keep them from doing that, though. Wild Claws, hopefully you work. I was hoping they were going to play like a six mana card and tap out. That was my hope. No, well, yes, they did have that sharp sight the whole time that I was scared of with the Culling Strike. Great three sisters draw. Love drawing that. Alright, that's fine. It doesn't seem like that was worth it. They just spent three mana for nothing. Right? Like, that's what it seemed like. If I play one of the other things, again, they could single combat. Kill my arrow. Alright, so I still have three sisters for protection. Why not Fury there? If I, I just felt like it was easier for them to, if I Fury, it's easier, easier for them to use a pump spell on the Shivana, keep it alive, kill my my Errol the Tracker. It's just safer. To, it, it's safer for keeping Errol alive.
We're not using Fury. Good, no single combat. That's very good. And no, I'm not I'm not playing the Tavern Keeper because of course we want to play the Field of Rush the next turn. Errol's putting in work. Gotta win. One and one. I know what I must do. GG's. Yeah, the characters on the Field of Rush Go Hard and stuff, those are those are members of the band. Um, what's the name of that band? But yes, they're they're different people. KDA. That's right, that's the name of the band. So they're members of the band KDA. Twisted Fate Fizz is not a slow deck for us to Howling Abyss, unfortunately. And so that's a, like a Riot-owned ban. So their names are Ari, Akal, Akali, Seraphin, Evelyn, and Kaisa. Once I stamp papers, now if that's correct. We have a pretty decent hand. Get some some cheaper threats and good combat spells. So Riven would make the Blade Fragment for me, but uh, I was hoping that, like, best case scenario, I was hoping that we would, like, draw the, the one mana 5-5 five, five right here. So I wanted to lead with the Trapper. That would have been best case scenario, is have a one mana 5-5 five, five as well. Deal me in. Dead in their tracks. Interesting. them down to nine. I could see them letting two of these three go in. They obviously have to do some kind of blocking. Can't just take 11.
Okay, I guess that will do. Two and one. And Dark Cleric, hello. Alright, Fiora with Lux, not Shen. Lux. Alright, so that prediction was a win. Let's start a new prediction. You can wager your channel points if you think we're going to win or lose. I like this hand. I think I want to keep this Fielder Rush. I see them being a little slower. I mean, I guess Ionia does say deny, so maybe I shouldn't be keeping Fielder Rush, but we already have like other decent stuff to start the game off with. Man, we all about creating uh, blade fragments. We got our, our blade fra fragment. The water changes but never breaks. Okay. Trapper ribbon. Trapper ribbon. I I just want the one mana five five. You know. Joke debate. One mana five five. You're covered. Lame. Uh, I hope that was mud. Finally, some action. I'll stop you. I don't want that river shape river shaper to strike and draw a spell. Never mind. Gift from the river folk. All right, they're down to eight. Ooh. Ah, oh, the scout. Break the ties that bind. Oh no! Oh, they had something. Okay, at least it wasn't the uh, one mana plus one plus zero quick attack. At least it wasn't that card. Overwhelm? Um. No turning back now! All right, so either Fury of the North or Entomb. Probably going with one of those two. Strike, we will reform. I think Fury of the North. Yeah, I think Fury of the North. Just... You know, threatens lethal there with the 8-8, eight, eight, and they can't single combat again. They don't have the mana for Concerted Strike. Like, you know, an additional single combat with the River Shaper won't work. But they can... Basically, they need... They need, like, two plus two plus twos, or a plus two plus two and a single combat, right? Like, they need two spells. Yeah, if I just go Flash Freeze, we only deal seven damage to them, and they stay alive at one. All right, we're going this way. We finish the job. Yeah, or a repost. Yeah, repost, I guess that would have worked. At last, for one card. Yeah, we had a really aggressive hand. Probably the most aggressive hand our deck can have. This is a cool combination that they got going on. This is getting mulliganed, and I guess you're going to get mulliganed, I guess. Even though, I don't know, three sisters are pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know what? You can go too. I'm gonna keep this troll champ. <laughs> yeah. So there's a uh, question was how many decks do I have? The there there's a limit in, on your account. You can only have like 40 decks or something like that. It's the limit is way too small. Basically, every day I put up four new decks, and so I have to delete four decks every day to put up the new decks. They the limit is. 
Like, they need to increase this limit, for sure. Oh, this Troll Chant's gonna put in work. Don't you worry about Troll Chant. That's gonna be great. I don't like that I don't have Troll Champ protecting my Riven, though, but I do have a backup Riven. What's your champion spell? Oh, it's just that Weapon Hill. It's a pretty bad one. To serve the greater good. Yeah, yep, Thermogenic Beam definitely would be the saddest thing to see right now. Expected. The goal of our deck. Well, it just does some cool stuff. Oh, Minotaur Reckoner. That's a good one. Minotaur Reckoner is a good one. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Think about entombing that Minotaur Reckoner. That's high rolling right there. That's that's in a great one. No, maybe not. What did you catch? I agree with you, Nasher. Nasher said that that's actually a good point. Said so concurrent timelines should 100% be a landmark. I agree with you. I think that that's a good landmark. Yeah, you can still just say one mana and everything, but yeah, like that's that's that'd be cool as a landmark. PNZ does care about spells and stuff, so maybe that's why they have a spell, but you know, like they have PNZ has other landmarks like the foundry and everything. I think that makes sense as a landmark. They're really high rolling. Sends chills up my spine. Yeah, never know what hit up. Levels up the Teemo. I could have used Brittle Steel to save one life and keep them from leveling up, but I feel like Brittle Steel can't be more valuable than that. Which okay. Let's say maybe I should have done that first. If I play it that stairs or Darius, then I won't have feel the rush mana next turn. The frost reveals all to me. 
Yeah, I wonder what the other two options were. The, yeah, they chose Sea Scarab. Could have been other one twos. No, you can't skip timelines now. You have to choose something. So there's definitely times where it can be a downgrade. GG's. The battle is lost, but the war rages on. All right, but over overall, three and two record with our weird Errol, Riven, Howling Abyss deck. Nothing wrong with that. You know, with the uh, good decks that we were facing. Um, the, the it that stares looked really out of place in here. I think I would prefer another champion, like another Darius or, uh, you know, something. This it that stares was, was pretty out of place because even like that last game, it would have been nice to play at that stairs, but it would have killed like all my own stuff. So I think another champion, you know, Trindamir, Sejuani, Darius, any any of these, um, you know, Draven. Draven's always amazing. You know, ba basically any of these. I think I would probably prefer that over the it that stairs with having howling abyss battle fury feel the rush i think that's enough top end I, I don't think we need this card um so that one that one could go and besides a champion you could also play like another two drop like an avaros and sentry then get you a little bit of card draw and do some attack and block and stuff like that so that could be another option there too um uh yeah probably want something like that um, but besides that, I think I liked the rest. I think I was, I was very impressed with the three sisters. Yeah, the three sisters looked really, really good. Being able to choose between Flash Freeze, Fury, and Entomb. I think there was like the, the very, like one of the first Flash Freezes, I should have used Fury of the North. Um, but yeah, so that, that card did look really good. It's a card I need to play more of. It's a card that I'm just like pretty happy having all the time. Yeah, you're, y'all are right. Yeah, maybe I should have saved the Entomb for the Dreadway. So I think I had a Three Sisters that I used earlier in the game, and so I just need to save it. I think I used it as... Yeah, I used it on Fury of the North to kill that Minotaur Reckoner. But maybe I just had to save it for Entomb for Dreadway. All right, but anyway, that's Errol Abyss. Pretty fun, versatile deck here. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching some Errol Abyss, and I'll see you for the next video.